Hi guys, this is AJ Stylexo and welcome to my channel. Today we'll be learning how to make different types of sleeve and sleeve we have different types, over 40 types of sleeve. But we'll be learning the basic one we see in our regular wears that are ready to wear or the one we give out the styles we see on magazines, on TV, on fashion shows and all of that. But the basic one is what we'll be learning today. And I'll be make we'll be making a very few of them. So we're making our normal sleeve, our puff sleeve, our cap sleeve, our petal sleeve, our circular sleeve. So we'll be learning all of this today. So first of all, we're starting with our normal sleeve. But wait, if you're new to the channel, kindly click on the subscribe button. Subscribe to the channel so you can get notified whenever I drop any tutorial. And there are so many tutorials. Just go through the list of the tutorials that you see different tutorials how to make your complete body skirt even your pantsy so just check them out and please share the video so if you want to learn how to make sleep please watch this video till the end so for our um, basic sleep we can call it basic sleep we can call it normal sleep this sleeve now is the type now you see like the picture you just saw now is the type you see on your t-shirts your polo and all of that this is the basic normal sleeve you see everywhere without any design any place around done like this and that one cut or the other so this is a basic sleeve so to get the wideness first of all you place your pattern paper on fold like this it's on fold just place it on fold or and then all your fabric placing your fabric places on fold like this but to get the wideness you say you put your tape around your arm hole well locally you can call it your armpits put your tape around it but in tailoring we call it arm hole so for those that are not used to that tape it is armpit place your tape around your arm hole whatever measurement you get divide it by two that measurement to that figure you get when you divide by two is your arm hole depth so for this the um, um, pattern making now for your basic pattern you are you're using your arm hole depth to get the wideness but if you use exactly your arm hole depth by the time you curve get the curve of the basic sleeve it might not fit in so normally add some inch extra so that whatever it is, no matter how it is or wrong with your cutting or whatever, it is still fitting. Then the many parts can go out. So when you are fixing it into your basic body or so basic gown, whatever you're fixing the sleeve into, it will go round perfect, and you are very sure, hundred percent sure that there will be no shortage. The fabric, the sleeve, will go round the arm of the bodies. So to get it now, this person is over using eight inches. This person's round arm o is sixteen. Divided by two is eight, so eight inches. So we place the table. We're not taking eight inches exactly. We're adding two inches extra. So if this person's arm o depth was seven inches, we just add two, which is nine. But because it's eight inches, we're adding two, so it's ten. So we're using ten as the arm o depth here. We mark ten here. Then you mark it down as well. Then when you ask, like the length of um, this length, what is this length? This length depends on the length of your sleeve you want. So for someone that wants long sleeve, well, you do it to the length of your long sleeve. Just place your tape on your shoulder to the to where your sleeve is. To know how to take your me measurement, you could check the tutorial. The link is in the description box on how to take your body measurement. So you see how to get the sleeve length of your choice, whether long sleeve, whether short sleeve, whether three quarter sleeve. So this is it. So now I've taken 10 inches here, 10 inches here. I'll just connect it with a straight line so that I'll be sure that yes, my wideness is even. So this is 10 inches, which is arm o depth plus two. Then on this line, I'm taking arm o depth divided by two. The arm o depth says it's divided by two is four. So I just place the tape from this up to wherever four is and mark it. Then I'll connect this point now to the beginning of the paper. So this is it. Now this line, you measure the line. Whatever value you get, you are dividing this line into four equal parts. 
So to divide into four equal parts, you don't have a calculator. This is an app we use. You just place your tape wherever you're dividing. So when you're making your basic bodies, okay, well, your bust is 34 or 32. You want, you're supposed to divide into four before you do. Just place your tape on the 32 or 34, wherever your bust measurement is. Now, whatever measurement you're dividing, place your tape on. Let's assume you want your bust measurement or your waist measurement divided by four. You don't have a calculator. Place the tip of your tape, the zero point, on that part. Place it. Then make sure... A stretch so this is the measurement divided by two now this is half of it then by the time you place it back here you've gotten the other half so this is divided into four so by the time i open it i can say divided into four this is it 70 so 34 sorry 8.5 so 34 divided by four is 8.5 17 is the midpoint which is when i first folded it then this is the next point which is 8.5 so that is it so for this one is 11 we're dividing into four i just place it like this but you can use your calculator since i don't have a calculator this is what i want to do i just place it on the 11 press it like this so this is the half already then press it back like this so this is it now divide it into four so these four points now is what i'll be marking on the line So the four points, the four parts that are folded, what are we marking? So the last part now aligns with the end of it because this is the length of the fabric. The length of this line is what I folded. So this is it. So we now have point one, point two, one, two, three, four. So let's measure these points here we marked as A, B, C. So this is it. So we're using A, B, C. To construct our sleeve so on point a just go up by one inch place your tape on point a go up by one inch you have you not do anything with point b you come to point c place your tape below the line and come down by half inch so this is it so from this end point i'll connect it to point a and then i'm connecting it to point b just connect the curve back to point B, then connect B to point C, then connect C to this end. So this is it. So this is the curve for the angle. Then on this part, you take whatever length you want for your sleeve. So let's assume what our sleeve length to be eight inches. Just mark eight inches. Make sure you mark eight inches as well. Then you roll it. So this is the M line. This line is called M line. So on this M line, I take the roundness of your sleeve. How do you get the roundness of your sleeve? Like I said, check the video on how to do all of that. Just place the tape on your arm, get the roundness of wherever you want your sleeve to be. Divide by two. So let's assume this person's roundness at 0.8 inches. When the tape is on the shoulder at 8 inches, the roundness at 8 inches is let's say is 10. So divided by 2 is 5. So we'll just do a 5. Or let's say it's 2 divided by 2 is 6. So just mark six inches and then we'll connect. So this is our basic sleeve. Then you can cut it out. If it's on your pattern, you can cut it out. If it's on your fabric, you can just cut it on your fabric. And then when if you're if it's on your fabric, you add your sewing allowance on the size and add your aiming allowance down. But on your pattern, you just cut exactly. But when you're cutting on fabric, please add all the allowances so this is a basic sleeve so for our off shoulder sleeve just from your, the picture you see that the sleeve is off the shoulder and the name on off shoulder so what we just do is it gives your arm o measurement divided by two so this arm o measurement is eight divided by two is four you mark it but first of all take our normal wideness we've said before which is um, 10 inches bring it to connection right so that you need the wideness of the paper or fabric you're using 
So now on the edge of the paper, I measured my arm, the person's arm was divided by by two, which is four. It divided by two is four. Then here I'll come down and I'll measure if the arm oh now. This person's arm oh, let me just show you a calculation. This person's arm oh is eight inches. Arm oh depth is eight inches. So for your off shoulder blouse, this is a basic blouse. This is the neck, this is the shoulder, this is the arm hole, then this is the arm hole, then the bust to waist, and then to your hip. So this is the basic that gown or whatever. Then you just see you have a slit or something. So this is your gown. So for the off shoulder, let's assume okay, we have a sleeve here. Let's draw a sleeve for this dress. Now. So this is the sleeve for this dress. So for your off shoulder, you are saying it is off the shoulder. So you place your tip on your shoulder, on your neck, the shoulder there. You could wear a dress. Place your tip on your shoulder, that shoulder line. And then check wherever you want your off shoulder to start from. You could do four inches, you could do five, you could do six. But the more, the more you go, the more your cleavage show. So it's safer to you to go, and depending on what you want, your choice anyway. So this, whatever you're taking, so let's assume now this is, we're taking five inches from here. This is five inches. When we roll it out, this is the off shoulder. So this is now the new sleeve. See, see the sleeve just has a very little curve now. On the arm of because this part now is out this is now the new bodice this part and then see the arm up so this is the new bodice then here you could just shape in the neck maybe to give it a shape so that the cleavage or whatever whatever you want to do you could do with it so this is it so this formula now we said here now took five inches so you say your 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 arm or depth for this person's depth from here to here is eight inches and now we took five away so for eight minus five you'll be left with three but don't forget that when you're taking your making your basic bodies this is your straight line this is the neck this is your shoulder you come down by one inch for the shoulder slant and then took your arm up and then let's assume this we're using this now to construct our off shoulder now you minus five from this don't forget there's this one inch slope so we are subtracting this one inch from it so we we'll say this three now that is left eight inches for the ammo depth minus three a minus um, five inches is three three minus this one inch that is here this slant is two inches so that's what we we'll take here so let's assume if the person's ammo depth is seven inches seven minus five five is not a constant we say five is what the person is taking off if the person is taking off four, you say seven minus four. If the person is taking off six, you say seven minus six. So whatever you are taking off is your choice. So let's say the person is seven. Seven minus five that the person is taking out, it will be the person will be left with two. Two minus this one inch slant, the person will be left with one. So on this line, the person will just measure one inch. But for this one, using two inches, you just mark two inches. So from here, like connect it to the two inches. So this is it. So let me just redo it sharply on um, this metal paper. So so we just mark ten. Okay, ten down here. Straight line. And on this point, take four inches half of the arm o depth. On this line, you take two inches. Arm o depth minus what you're off taking off for the off shoulder minus one inch slant. Then we'll connect it now to this. Line. So then this line just gets the midpoint. Place the tape here. This is 6.5. To get the midpoint, just place it on 6.5 and then press it. Whatever it is, this is the midpoint. So the midpoint is 3.25. You just mark it. So on this 3.25, you come down by one inch or 0.75. So I'll let me come down by 0.75. I'll just curve here to this 0.75 and back here. So this is it. 
then here i'll take the sleeve length whatever my sleeve length is from the off shoulder don't forget you're starting from your off shoulder off your shoulder so wherever it is just mark it you know the line as your m line and then you take your sleeve roundness as usual whatever your sleeve roundness is divided by two let's say this person's one is 12 divided by two is six connect six okay so this is basically your off shoulder sleeve and you just cut it out if you're cutting if you're placing on fabric if you're doing it directly on fabric you add your allowances for cutting for sewing even for turning the off shoulder so this is our off shoulder sleeve you see our normal sleeve that it is quite different so the different the normal sleeve has a cap but there's no cap here because this cap part now is off these are off shoulder sleeve so by the time you put the two arm or cuff together you see that there's an off already so this is basically how to construct the off shoulder sleeve or for your off shoulder sleeve you're going to go through this whole calculation process you just want something very quick you just come down make your basic sleeve the way you make your normal basic sleeve from what i first showed you just not too long what you just do now is place your tape on this folded edge now mark 1.25 then we'll do a straight line just mark 1.25 then we'll do a straight line this time now we're not calculating if your arm O is this or you are using your normal sleeve because your normal sleeve you've already made it with your V arm O so I'm just taking something off it and then we cut it out so this is the same thing this is your off shoulder sleeve so if you place the one we first constructed with this you see that it's the same thing we got so you can make your off shoulder sleeve in that way So the next we'll be making is our puff sleeve. So for your puff sleeve, like the picture you just saw now, that is a puff sleeve. You could choose how much puffness you want for the sleeve. So the least we do most times is 1.5, but you can go as much as 2 inches, 3 inches, 4 inches, 5 inches, whatever you want. The more inch you go, the more fabric you'll be using. So for this one, I'll be doing 2 inches for my puff sleeve. So you just place your basic Part, um, slip pattern is a basic slip pattern so if you notice you see that in all of our part all of our sleeve the basic pattern is the foundation pattern to create almost all of them so you just place your basic pattern on a plain pattern already then whatever inch you want for your puff you leave it up here so if you want two inches you just mark two inches then you place the basic sleeve on that two inches so from these two inches mark you can just call come up here by three inches and you can just connect it to this three inches is just a guide it's not like okay this is how it's meant to be you can just connect it now with a curve back into this curve you can see it's now so you just connect it then you Follow your basic pattern, join the other end, go the other side, and that is it. So, if you see now, is the cap is a little bit higher, so this is it. Just I said, you come here by three inches, or even two inches, or two and a half. But this, in whatever you're taking here, is just a guide for you to get your curve. By the time you practice constantly, you might not even need to take any measurement, just take whatever you want to add for your curve. Place your basic pattern there and then try to curve it from this edge into this your normal sleeve curve. That's just it. Then you take the sides and then the length of your sleeve, the basic sleeve. So this is how to make a curve um, a, a puff sleeve. So I just cut it and this is your puff sleeve. So by the time you pin it around the arm of your body. You see that this extra you took will be puffing out. You will be, will be, will see the gathered effect of your puff on. So this is your puff sleeve. So 
So the next type of sleeve we're making now is our cap sleeve. You just saw the picture of it. Cap sleeve, very easy sleeve. Still with your basic sleeve pattern. So this pattern is very important. As a designer, make sure you have this pattern handy. So just this line now, where you have the curve, the starting point of the curve, you just choose to join it a really line there. So cap sleeve, you have different ways to construct your cap sleeve. So this is one of the easiest way to construct your cap sleeve. So just roll it like this. And well, sometimes I do this, sometimes I just leave it. On this fold, you just come down by half inch and just connect the half inch into the curve. Connect it into the curve like this. So this part is gone. So this is just basically your cap sleeve, very easy. So I'll just cut it out. So this is basically your cap sleeve, and you can also call it cup sleeve. So this is it. So just place this around the arm, you can see how small it is. It doesn't go down. So some you can go as much as you want here you could go as much as four or five inches but you should not exceed five inches just assume it's placed still placed together will not cut it still placed together as a basic sleeve you can come down to five inches like this come down to five inches then still mark it and when you're marking it don't come down straight like this if you come down straight this is a complete sleeve we're making a cap sleeve or a cup sleeve so this let's assume this is a basic sleeve still not cut you can come down as to five inches but five inches is the maximum because if it's longer than five you're already making a normal sleeve then just connect this five straight to the same point when you connect to this same point you still get the shape but just this part that is longer so this length don't say ah yeah it's too small for me i like it a little bit longer you choose what you want here but it should not exceed five inches Petal sleeve, just very beautiful sleeve. I love petal sleeve, it's very, very beautiful. It's catchy, it's attractive. You can see it looks like a flower. I'm sure that's why it's called petal. You know, we have a flower called petal. So, for this petal sleeve, still with your basic sleeve, you just open it. This midpoint that is already folded, the folded line, just draw it again as a line to see it where. Well. Let's be a guide. So, this is the line. Then on the cap of the sleeve you just come by three inches then you just connect this three inches with the curve okay so your curve depends on you what you want so you just connect it with the curve any kind of curve and curve it to the end of the sleeve but for your petal sleeve you can go whatever inch you're using don't don't forget that your petal sleeve should not be too long. If it's too long, it will not be fine. So most times, I mean, for me, I use eight inches for my petal sleeve. So let me just change this basic sleeve to eight inches. Just cut it. So this is where I construct my petal sleeve. So now open it back. I'll measure my three inches on this side. Or you could do on this side any side at all so this is three inches then i'll connect it here with a curve so i could use my french curve use my french curve to connect it i said we just from this mid line we mark three inches here or three inches here so you could either draw it draw it join it like this with a curve or you join it like this with a curve so i'll use my french curve as a guide i know this is where my curve needs to stop so i'll just curve it anyhow there's no particular pattern for curving your petal sleeve so this is it so i'll be cutting this on fabric so so you can see the cross already for the petal sleeve so one part will be at the front one part will be at the back so this is your petal sleeve so by the time you cut this out this part will be away so let me just show you Let's assume this is our petal sleeve. We've cut it and then we've joined the two shoulders together. So this is it. 
this is the way it will look like in your arm but don't forget you're cutting through you're cutting through so by the time you cut through you have to cut a second one like this the second one now will go under this and then both of them will cross each other and then form your petal sleeve so this is it this is how to get your petal sleeve So now we're constructing a circular sleeve and you can see it is very full it's it's like um, a 360 degree circle but we'll be using a simple method using our basic sleeve to come to to make it so what you just do is you will not start from the end so we're using our basic sleeve these are normal pattern on fold or paper on fold you will not start from the beginning just leave any inch between one and half to two inches so it will serve as an imaginary line that will help that will guide you on what to do so i'll do one and a half inch and then i'll just roll it straight like i said you could do two inches it's not a standard so i'll do one and a half inch okay this is actually 1.75 not one and a half so this is 1.75 then i'll take my normal wideness of 10 inches you know i've got 10 i will always get 10 and i'll just roll it down so this is it so on this line now this new line is where i'll place my basic sleeve you could use your pin to secure the sleeve so i've pinned it now the sleeve now is in place i can do my little construction now so from here now this length of sleeve is your choice whatever length you want your flare sleeve to be or your circular sleeve to be you choose you can make it whatever length for this one now the length is eight inches so this is what i'll be working with eight is it eight inches this is actually nine inches so this is what i'll be working with nine inches for the length of my sleeve but don't forget we added something here but i'll be using this length of my sleeve now so on this part of the line, I'll take my exact length of sleeve, which is 9 inches. So this is it, 9 inches. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not adding this one now, so this part is out. I'm taking just my exact length of sleeve from this beginning, which is 9 inches. Then I'll come out by 2 inches on this 9 inch point. I'll just connect it here, like this then here i'll start my sleeve cap from this point just where we do our puff sleeve but this time i'm not stopping it here i'm taking the curve down to the end so i'm um, the the basic sleeve just a guide to guide me instead of starting the construction all over so this is it i not really follow the curve means i just came up a little bit from the basic sleeve then now this is the point where this my basic sleeve ends the nine inches i'll just join it with the curve i could use my french curve i could just do my use my hand let me use my french curve and i'll just curve it you know it's not supposed to curve like this so the french curve now actually give you not giving me exactly what i want so this is and we just try to curve it give it a perfect curve and this is it so this is your flare sleeve so by the time you fix this into the arm of your bodies and then close this by the side this whole part now will gather and drape as a flare so this is basically how to make your flare sleeve i said take an imaginary line here but then on the imaginary line up from the imaginary line take one and a half or two inches whatever up then you just measure the line take whatever inch off then from this top this part that you are taking your imaginary line from take your exact sleeve this basic sleeve now that you're using the length that you are using take the length from up here down here now let, this sleeve now is nine inches but plus here is more than nine inches we're not using this total new length we're using just this length from up here so this is where we stop when we take it but we're not using this point because we want it to flare out 
so come out by two inches you can come out by four by five whatever you want it depends on how much drip you want so i came out by two inches then i'll just join from this point where the sleeve end with a curve to the two inches mark then from the beginning of this new cap i formed i just form a curve back and this is uh flare or our circular sleeve so this is very very easy method this is it like i said the, whatever you're coming out with depends on you now come out as much as even five inches depending on how much drip you want how much fullness you want so this is your flare sleeve this is the roundness so if you're using the soft material you see the drip how the drip shows so thank you for watching and i hope you enjoyed the tutorial on different types of sleeve i hope you also practice it during your spare time share the videos with your, share the video with your friends loved ones and leave me any question in the comment section i'll attend to it anyway till next time we meet again have a lovely day